Hey Gracie, welcome back to the show. It's nice to see... Gracie, your screen is frozen. You're breaking up. I'm gonna send you another link. Folks, this is beyond frustrating. It happens to me most of the time whenever I do online interviews. Those of you who live in the Philippines know what I'm talking about. But fret not, I think I found a solution. So let me start this video with a disclaimer. This is not a paid promotion, nor a commercial. It is me trying to fix a problem because my job revolves around the internet and I have to have a high speed service. So for the last three and a half years, I've been using local companies around Dumaguete City and I've ordered their highest package. But sometimes I still get 14 Mbps download speed, which is no good in my line of work. But today, I might try something new. Introducing Starlink. What is Starlink? So Starlink is the first and largest constellation of satellites in low Earth orbit. And they started this program way back in 2019. And while I was in the US, I was so honored to witness one of SpaceX's launches carrying 32 new satellites. So Starlink is servicing 60 countries currently, including the Philippines. So I ordered this kit while I was in the US using the Starlink Philippines. I also read somewhere that you have to make sure that the kit you're buying uh, is not geo-locked because some people who bought their kits from the US, it's geo-locked in the US so they can't use it here in the Philippines. But I think I won't have that problem because I ordered this kit using Starlink Philippines website. So how much is this kit? Well, originally it was 30,000 pesos, which is about $550, but a few months ago they had a sale and I paid 19,000 pesos for this. That's a steal. But aside from that, you have to sign up for a monthly subscription. So the monthly subscription for the standard kit is 2,700 pesos, which is about $44 a month. So you might be wondering, folks, what's the difference between Starlink and your traditional fiber optics? Well, the traditional fiber optics needs a physical line to run through your house. Do you know how messy our power lines are? It looks like a bowl of spaghetti and it's kind of fragile. Just a little breeze or a little, you know, typhoonish <laughs> weather. Sometimes your internet will be shut down and that's no good but starlink is completely different because it's 100 percent wireless it gets its signal directly from the satellite's overhead which is pretty cool because even if you're out in the boonies deep in the woods or on an island i think this is more reliable so let's unbox this baby you know what guys i don't do a lot of unboxing videos but I'm just so excited and I want to share this experience with you all. So this is kind of heavy. It's about eight kilograms. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay, the instruction on how to set it up. Pretty simple, three steps. And we got a wire here. This looks like an eggshell, your standard stand. Oh, it's, met it's metal. And oh, you got stickers. Oh my goodness, look at that. Cat sticker. And it's got one, two, three, four, five, five cats. Mm, I think Elon Musk knows that I'm the crazy cat lady and FYI guys I do have five cats wait are there spies anywhere that I don't know about hmm that's kind of creepy and this is the dish looks like a light box one of the light boxes that I have in my studio it's white it's white it's quite heavy. So let me just put this one here. I don't want to break anything. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's just put it 
there. Put this wire here. All righty. And the modem. The modem. I like the I like the design. It's very simple. It's minimalist. And there's your X. X symbol. And I guess this is what is this? The Earth or the solar system? <laughs> Missing a few uh, planets over there. There's only like three dots, so maybe I don't know. <laughs> and there are two holes down here. Nice, nice, nice. And I think the rest of the cable. Yep, because you just have to plug it in and get power. And I think you'll be set up. I think this is what it looks like, guys. Let me just put this one here real quick. <coughs> wow. It's like workout. Oh, there. It fits. It's okay. That's pretty simple. I think we can do this by ourselves. And I'm not sure how long the wire is. Maybe it's five, ten, not sure. Meters, not yards. <laughs> Sorry, guys, we don't use that <laughs> measuring system. So, okay. Now, all I have to do is what? Well, I do have the, uh, the app already. I already downloaded it. So we have to install it and look for a place for this baby. Don't know where, but I think the best option is to go up because it works best if it's facing directly to the sky with no obstruction. So yeah, I think the roof is better. Just have to grab the ladder. So I'll see you up there. <laughs> Okay, so I checked the roof and it is surprisingly steep. So for now, I'll just put this one here in the corner of the yard. Plus, I also sent a text message to my landlord because I cannot just drill holes on the roof. Because as you can see, guys, the base of this dish, it's got four holes that you need to mount the whole thing so it's safe and secured. But for now, let's just try and see if this is working. So I'm just going to place it here. <clears throat> okay. All right, so this is the modem. We're going to be powering it up and see if we can get a signal. And as I have mentioned, I have downloaded the app, the Starlink app. It helps you manage your subscriptions, check your signal, and also help you install the dish. So first we have to plug this in. This is the plug to the power outlet and it goes through here. Three pronged, just have to push it in. Oh. There you go, it's snug fit. And the other one is the wire that connects the modem and the dish and it goes through here. There. There you go. And now, let's plug it in. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Okay, there's a tiny little dot there saying that the modem is on. And you know what, guys? As long as you have power, you'll have internet connection. Here in Negros Oriental, Power outages are very, very common. I'm not exaggerating when I say that sometimes it goes off three to six times a week. Yes. And sad to say, I don't have my own generator, so I may be able to buy solar panels or maybe a generator in the future just to make sure I have constant internet because, you know, especially nowadays, folks, you have to be informed, you have to be on top of the news, especially with what's going on in the world. So yeah, alrighty. So what we have to do right now is check the app. Let me just screen record this so I can show it to you on the screen. Let me do that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, screen record. Okay, now it's screen recording. Now let's go to 
app, Starlink app, and then we'll click this find an installation location, start setup. Okay, okay. So at the moment, we're gonna be pressing the standard right rectangular Starlink. Oh, they actually offer high performance Starlink, flat high performance Starlink, and standard circular sta Starlink. Okay, but we have the standard rectangular. So click that and confirm. And then, ooh, look at that. Well, earlier, the dish was facing this way, its default position, but now it's facing up because it's looking for a signal from a satellite. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can finish the installation. Find installation location, click that one. Okay, find an open area and, okay, open area and scan the entire sky. Okay, we have to scan it. Okay, we have Okay, we have to scan the sky. Oh, look at that, guys. You can see 39%. Ooh. Okay, more here. Okay, where to? Okay, there. There's the signal over there. Okay, more. Oh. Entire sig entire sky. Okay. We're more. 80%. More. Okay, there you go. Okay, that's the roof. I don't know why it's getting those little pebbles. There you go, 97, 98, 99, 99, 100. Come on, 100. Come on. Okay, view results. Whew. So let's find the results in the shade, guys, because I can't see the screen properly. Okay, so it looks like that is not the best um, area for the dish, obviously. And it says here, obstructions at this location may cause interruptions with streaming, video, web browsing, video calls, and online gaming. So obviously, at least we can see that it's actually moving. It's alive. Uh, let's see if we can get a signal, actually. So let me just set up, set it up there. Okay, set up Starlink. Oh, Starlink is set up. Okay. Whew. My Starlink is powered. Good. Plug in Starlink and router. Okay, it is plugged. Connect to Starlink Wi-Fi. Woo-wee! We're online, clicking it now. Come on, come on. Starlink paired successfully. Okay, continue. Router, conf router not configured. VPN enabled, yeah, I know. Okay, speed test. This is the moment of truth. And mind you, this is with obstruction. It's not even properly uh, set up. Oh my gosh. Now we're talking 52 Mbps. It's not even properly set up. Amazing. So this is really promising guys. I'm really excited for this. This is going to be a game changer when it comes to uploading videos and streaming Netflix and chill that kind of stuff before it can take up to three hours just to upload a 15 minute video and it wastes my time every week. But with this, it's gonna pay for itself. And I think it's worth every peso that I paid for this kit. And for those of you who are experiencing problems similar to mine with internet connection, why don't you check out Starlink? And I think you'll be pleased. Well, that's it for today, and I'll be back on Tuesday with something new and unique. So, bye then! So, I got permission from the landlord to mount the dish on the roof, which turned out to be easy to do. And even though there's still some trees and stuff blocking the signal, it's a lot faster than it was on the ground. Check this out! Now, I'm getting 250 Mbps download speed. 
Hooray! Movies don't lag, YouTube loads almost instantly, and it just uploaded a 12-minute video in only four minutes. Amazing! I'm in love with Starlink because it just made my life a lot easier. And this is just a basic service. So let me get this straight. I'm saving 16 bucks a month and I'm getting 10 times faster speeds. And on top of that, I don't have to spend an entire afternoon at the cable company waiting in line and filling out a stack of stupid paperwork. Thanks, Elon. Hello? Elon? Elon Musk? How'd you get my number? Yeah, I got the cat sticker. But how'd you know I have five cats? I mean, even the richest man in the world can't know everything, so what can I do for you? There's too much soap scum on my shower door? Elon! If you think about it, I'm kind of like an astronaut, taking you places no man has gone before by giving you the best inside scoop about life in the Philippines. I know that learning an alien culture can be a real asteroid in Uranus, but my info will put you light years ahead of the competition. And if you follow my advice, you definitely won't have a failure to launch after you splash down here. All I ask for my technical expertise is that you give a thumbs up on this video, share it with friends, and hit the notification bell so you're in time to watch the next launch. And I'd be over the moon if you checked out my Patreon page for bonus features and exclusive content. While waiting to blast off, why not check out some of my other videos too? So, want to join me for a little horizontal docking maneuver in zero G? It's out of this world. Is that a rocket in your pocket or are you just happy to see me?